Based on a complaint from the United States, Canada, and Argentina, the largest growers of genetically modified foods, the World Trade Organization ruled Tuesday that the EU and six of its member states are breaking international trade rules by barring them. Also known as biofoods or frankenfoods, they are organisms whose genetic material has been altered. The most popular ones are corn, soybeans, cotton, and canola. They have been around since the mid-1990s, but the EU banned their import years ago due to concern for consumer safety. Gregory Conco is a trade analyst with the Competitive Enterprise Institute in Washington, D.C. He says the EU's policies are outdated. The fact that the World Trade Organization is, is coming out against them, that every major scientific organization around the world is coming out against them, is reminding them that it's time to move on, time to reform uh, biotech restrictions in the European Union. Proponents of the genetically modified foods say they increase yields and allow crops to better resist weeds and insects. While most scientists agree they are safe for consumption, opponents say the foods are not properly tested or labeled and are unsafe for both humans and the environment. Europeans strongly oppose the sale of these foods, in part because of several food safety scandals in the 1990s. Claire Oxborough works for Friends of the Earth, an international environmental group that opposes the ruling. The types of herbicides that they use that are specifically designed to, to be used on the GM crop are called broad spectrum weed killers, which means they kill off everything in the field apart from the GM crop that's been specifically designed to withstand it, and that leads to less food for birds and less wildlife. The decision by the WTO panel is not final, and it includes only 25 crops, not all genetically modified ones. But it is viewed by some as a victory for biotechnology groups in the United States. The EU says it is too early to say whether or not it will appeal the ruling. Paige Kollek, VOA News.